Hi guys, today's episode is sponsored by the Market Movers. All fresh produce seen in today's episode was sponsored by them. Now, the Market Movers are a great company. They are located in Trinidad and what they have is anyone throughout the world can buy fresh produce and have it delivered to their family and friends in Trinidad. So make sure and check them out. All information will be down in the description box. So to a pot, we're going to start with some garlic infused coconut oil. Once the oil heats up, your heat will be on medium. You're going to go in with some chopped cabbage and you're going to saute this until it's tender. Now if you're using one of the soft cabbages, you can add your onions together with the cabbage. Next, goes in some onions and we're going to saute the onions and the cabbage just to bring out the sweetness in the onions next goes in some sweet peppers now the veggies or whatever veggies you would like to put is totally up to you saute I'm going to make sure those sweet peppers are cooked Next, she goes in with some chopped tomatoes and any type of tomato will be fine for this. Just continue to stir until the vegetables are cooked. Next, she goes in with two cans of corned beef. And you're going to mix and stir and cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure break up any lumps. Now this is what it would look like when it's cooking down. What you'll do next is add some Worcestershire sauce. You don't add any salt to this because that meat itself contains salt. Some ketchup. Or you can use tomato paste. And some Bertie's pepper sauce goes in next. If you don't have Bertie's pepper sauce, you can add some pimento pepper sauce to this or you can add some chopped pimento peppers to this. You want to mix that pepper in. Now the pepper is totally optional. You can omit it, but I suggest putting in the pimento pepper sauce. So continue to stew. I'm sorry that the, the, the screen is frosting up from the steam. Cover and allow it to cook until it thickens up. Once thickened up like that, you're going to go in with some chopped scallions, some scythe or some celery, or you can use some flat leaf parsley, whatever you have. Continue to mix and then this is ready to be served so here you have it corned beef and remember I said guys you can use corn mutton also to make this recipe so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe if you did thank you to Sabrine leave your comments down below if you make it if you make it differently please let us know what are your recipe requests also leave them in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time i post a new video see you guys in my next video bye